well uh, good afternoon my dear all his friends who are watching these videos today i have decided to let you know what was my aim exactly and how did i become a teacher of english in fact if i take you to back of my past especially how i was what was my planning and what i would want it to be and all that you will be surprised to know in fact in my childhood i was not doing a study even i was almost even period uh, i had not started my study also uh, i remember in my school by the educated especially of my villagers who were educated seniors and were not employed at the time had started a school with the name of azad public school it was not the planning that i'll get the admissions there seriously i tell you i remember one of the teacher of the same school went home to home and said get admission in 10 rupees get admission in 10 rupees and all that and uh, luckily i got the admissions six month almost i studied there and uh, just after six month and in that six month especially i could learn to hardly a uh, a uh, and k k k only i was senior but being in the nursery class with the juniors with the very small children my brother in law actually after that after hardly i completed 6 month there in the school of that village school my brother in law got a certificate from the primary school and the certificate was of 6 pass 6 class pass i got my admissions in 7th class in mk jah school which is situated between hagad and rasulpur it is on the way of rasulpur from hagad i started going there but i was not as per the strength of the class 7th i didn't know how to write even hindi also i remember even the past when the teacher started teaching and dictating something they wanted us to write i was not able to write i used to sit in the back side of the class and i tried uh, doing something putting the head down so that the teachers will not be uh, like uh, angry with me that i am not writing and all that that was my conditions that kept passing 7 to 8 8 to 9 9 to 10 but trust me i couldn't understand even a single word i didn't have idea even to understand the mathematics and all that i didn't know subtraction divisions multiplications i didn't have idea all, all about but somehow i kept passing as you must all be knowing in the government school of there are like a students those who are in the government schools they are just being the part of the class and appear in the examinations they are being transferred from one class to another class it was the same with me also i could not think even to learn how to speak english also but i remember still there was a village nearby my village from the same that village there was a boy used to come in my village actually and that boy used to speak few lines of english me plus my friends some juniors some seniors i still remember we used to stand whenever the boy in the evening he came and he used to come we used to stand down the boy and especially uh listen the boy how and what he was speaking he had just learned few lines only was not able to do he was not able to speak complete lines and everything in english but we a uh, huge number of extra, like uh, people there and the children there used to, used to stand around the boy and all were listening very carefully to that boy i was also one of them but i was not normal like all others i used to take it as like uh, insult for me i used to think about why is he only speaking because when he was speaking he was in the middle of the crowd and the group of the people were standing looking at him and thinking wow and all that i was very jealous i had feeling like that i should be that boy i should be standing in the middle and uh, i should be speaking people should be looking at me but it was not the time for me to be here there in my village and to learn how to speak in english but yes that kept 
it's forcing me that learn, learn and learn and all that. I did my matric and I still remember, sorry to say you, but the fact I had cheated completely in the matric and as because of that, I got the result. If I didn't cheat in the matric, trust me, it, was, it won't be possible to pass also. I was the one candidate in the examinations hall and five of the members of my family used to come to help me to cheat in the examinations. And fortunately, being the luckiest one there, it was possible for me and I passed with the first division. But if you ask me the knowledge about, I had not even, it's no knowledge at all about any of the subjects. But yes, luckily I passed. And uh, for my matric, I used to be in my village actually. After I completed my matric, I got a chance to come to Dharvanga, to be in Dharvanga. was my dream because uh, at that time when I used to be in my village, I wanted to watch some cinemas, movies and all that, but it was not the facility in the village. It was only in Dharvanga cities. So I, I had come so many times before my matric with my friends to watch movies. But after I completed my matric, I got a chance to leave here in Dharvanga. I still remember. Uh, at Mola Guns uh, Main Road West, there was here, especially one of the laws I shifted there. And in that laws, I had one of the, like, uh, friend, I can see you. His name is Mr. Javid. That Javid was from Basatpur, actually. Okay. And he was already living in that room, in that lodge. He was senior to me for one year. Uh, being a relative of that, Mr. Javid, he gave me a chance to be with him and started living there. So one of his friends uh, who, who used to come to meet Javid, his name I still remember, his name is Tamizuddin. That boy used to come to meet him. And that boy had, sorry, the boy had one habit Whenever that Tamizuddin used to come to the laws and where I was living to meet Mr. Javid or even to meet me also after having discussed for a few days or after passing some days, uh, he got relation with me also. In his every sentence in the last, he used to talk one word actually. Like whenever he came, he asked, Javid bhai kaha hai? Who? Main bazaar gaya tha. Who? Man film dekha who man usse mila who means in his every line he used to talk in the last who I didn't have the sense to understand even who also I used to feel about the boy that he talks so nice and beautiful English wow I was thinking the boy is talking very good English I used to help him well the boy used to come and uh, said in his every line after speaking who, who and who. Trust me guys, I didn't have understanding of even who also. I used to feel about the same boy, wow, what a nice English is talking. Great. And I used to respect him, loved him. And I used to offer him the food I cooked. When I went out, I afford the breakfast, I afford the snacks. Just because I used to feel the boy knows how to talk very good English. But in fact, you better know which level of English is who. Somehow, there was examination of 12th. And uh, in that 12th examinations, frankly speaking and honestly speaking, it was very tight. It was so tight that no one could even dare to cheat also. I could not also dare. Okay. I remember I used to read holy book before I go. I, I went to the examination center. And praying God that please it's uh, be let me uh, be safe. Should not be caught and be expelled. It does not mean that I was cheating that time. No, I was not cheating. Even without cheating, I used to afraid of. It might be possible some of the person may throw the cheat nearby or open me and I'm couched by the persons there. And because of this, I used to read the holy book going there, praying also that I should be safe. Trust me, in the 12th class, I did not cheat even a single bounce. I was asked arts student. 
I didn't have idea to read at all. I had memorized the points of the question answers. I remember the the questions I have suppose remember remembered about Akbar, but suppose there was a question about Babar. I just changed the name and wrote the same of Akbar with the name of Babar. That was my scene. I didn't have even sense to write somehow in all the other subjects like I had my subject political science, history, psychology and English was also there. Somehow in Hindi I managed to write anything, some stories, some film stories and all that. Trust me, this is the fact I tell you. I don't tell a lie. Either. Okay. I cheated in the battery, I told you. But in the inter, I didn't cheat. I wrote somehow anything. Filled up the notes actually, that notebook. Answers it. On the day of English, I remember, as it was the big challenge for me. On the day of English, it was the big challenge for me because I didn't know even a single line to write. And the cheating was not going on. Trust me. What I did, you can't believe. Suppose there was a question. I just tell you, I don't remember the question which it was the time actually. It's long before. There was a question, suppose, that, uh, what is your name? It, it's a question it's supposed for 10 marks. You know what did I do? I wrote answer and I started copying in one or two pages according to the marks. What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? Two pages I filled up. Full of the questions I had written with the answers. At the place of the answers, I just copied the question only. Thanks to the person who checked my answer sheet of English. He gave me the passing marks actually. I still remember. I got an enter in my English subject just 32 marks only. Was I angry with the person who checked? No, I was very happy and I blazed also that he gave me. Otherwise, I couldn't deserve to pass also. If he gave me zero also, I would not be surprised because I had nothing written. But thanks to the persons who checked, he passed me. That was my conditions. I didn't know. I could not think to learn even how to speak and teach what I can't imagine. I couldn't imagine even. I couldn't imagine that I'm going to be the teacher of English and all. Anyway, so somehow I passed in my childhood, I have been the naughtiest one, very naughtiest. Okay. I used to do unnecessary things there. So my brother-in-law, who was the guardian for me, as long before my father had died, when I was very, very small, and in the family, I was the elder brother, actually. I had no one to guide me. So when my brother-in-law realized that I have no one to guide me, somehow he took the charge and started guiding me. And he supported and guided me a lot that trust me. I cannot express the same into the words actually. So when he saw me that I'm just spoiling my career, I didn't have my aim and all, wasting the time and all. And as I told you in my inter, I have been the naughtiest one. Unnecessary, different types of the things I used to do. In such case, he was angry with me and uh, he decided to take me with him. I remember I had gone after my 12th class with him to Gaya. When I was going to Gaya at platform of Patna also, uh, I still remember the platform number. It's 7 and 8 was the platform number. From that platform, especially a train goes to Patna. There were two persons sitting actually the first time when I was going to Patna. Ugaya especially, my brother was posted. He was a bodyguard of DIZ and posted there in Gaya actually. So that place especially, uh, in at Patna platform, there were there were two girls. They were not Indian actually, they were foreigners. There was one boy and that boy was talking. There was a boy and I still remember short and thin boy. Two girls were there. And the boy was talking to them. And just to watch them, the two girls, or foreigners they were, and that boy, especially from Bihar, he was talking. And round all three, there were a huge number of passengers standing. We saw from the distance there is a crowd. We didn't have the idea what is the story going on. 
we both went there we both means i had gone with my brother lad to that place somehow putting the people side i went into and went inside we both went inside then i saw a small not very a small but he was thin and short boy i was talking to both of the girls and they were very beautiful actually seriously i tell you both were very beautiful actually okay and the crowd there was a huge number of people standing watching them and i once again started feeling with that i knew how to speak english and i were at that place i would be so luckiest person but it was not possible for me i was not even understanding also but i had already completed my 12th examination my brother asked me farooq you also talk because you are 12th class student you have already passed and going to do graduation you also talk i remember just i said to my brother in law no what they are talking i am understanding but i cannot speak because i am not in the practice in fact i was not understanding also but i said yes what they are talking i am understanding but in fact i was not understanding i pretended somehow to be respected actually not to be insulted but in fact i just tell you i was not able to understand also all that different events pinched me a lot forced me a lot the one more story i still remember when i reached the first time there with my brother in law to gaya especially as i told you my brother in law was bodyguard of dig and uh, when i was to enter into the residence of dig there was a guard standing on the main gate with the gun that guard asked my brother in law who is he means guard asks to my brother in law about me that who i was to my brother in law my brother in law said to the guard that i am his brother in law the guard looked at me and asked how are you trust me surprising you know what did i answer the guard looked at me and asked how are you i said i am farooq i couldn't have the sense of understanding how are you when he asked me i said i am farooq again he repeated how are you again i said i am farooq then he asked my brother la that in which class does he read he said that he has already completed 12th and has come to do his graduation he laughed and asked me what type of english do you speak and all that it pinched me a lot if i were alone it would not pinch a lot but since i was with my brother in law it was a big insult he asked me that you don't understand these all disturbed me a lot and motivated me forced me to improve my english then after uh, being there in gaya few days i said to my brother in law i would like to learn as in gaya you must be knowing about hardly 7 or 8 km far from gaya city there is a bodh gaya and that is the place where the people are coming because of the uh, gautam bodh is there so many of the persons are coming to see the temples there to pray to worship and all so mostly the foreigners are also coming there okay so there was the environment of english i said to my brother in law i would like to learn and i got admissions also in one of the coaching when i got the admissions on the day one there was rule that no one could speak in hindi i accepted as a challenge in my life trust me guys i was the weakest student of the class whatever the teacher used to teach in the class i was unable to understand but i had the confidence one day i must improve my english i had not planning that i'll become a teacher actually but yes i had planning one day i must improve my english a day will come i will be the best english speaker that was in my mind i had decided on the day one only and and especially after getting admissions there trust me guys the first six month passed and i nothing understood because the condition was there not to speak in hindi i could ask the question in english hindi but i was afraid of i didn't try to ask first six month passed passed and nothing understood i didn't give up i tried again i got the re admission there and i worked hard with the first six month when i got admissions 
as I was nothing understanding. Whenever there was test, I was almost getting the fail marks only. I still remember I was the weakest student of the class. But as I told you, where is will, there is a way. I had decided. It was completely in my mind by hook or by crook. I am going to learn English. That decision was the big decisions and that was my strong its desire you can say. I got re-admissions there and then I started working hard. Somehow after six months I was able to understand a little bit. I always tried all the rules set by the teachers there who used to teach me and the rule made by the directors of the coaching I followed and then I continued my class one year plus total one year six month I continued in one of the class there one of the coaching there in Gaya. Okay after that I didn't have the aim what will I become in my life when uh, as I was there in the residence but not exactly in the residence in the campus of DIG residence there were quarters also for the guards for the police and all so I was living with my brother-in-law he got one room and there were two beds and in that one of the bed I was living there okay on that one of the bed I was living there and standing so uh, I was there and I didn't have the aim what to be in my life but uh, learning and improving English because of my interest so uh, I used to see only one DIG having luxury life and so much power and all. So it came into my mind, I'll also become a DIG actually. Okay. And for the same, I had gone to uh, Patna, especially for the preparation of UPS examinations. I didn't have idea, but when I decided to be an, a DIG, I got some idea how to be. I came to Patna and uh, I started living in the lodge. I still remember the name of the lodge. Pili Goti A block. I was in the room number seven, which was a single room. Okay. After being there, I, after uh, sifting there, hardly spending for five days or one month or two months, I came to know there are so many students who have been preparing for the long time and they could not even qualify PT also. I was very upset what to do. Because I had to earn as soon as possible. As I told you, I have been in one family, the elder brother. My mom used to ask me, Mr. Farooq, you are just doing a study. When will you earn money and all that? Because she required money at that time. It was a big tension for me. So when I saw people are working for the long and still they are not qualifying even PT also, I changed my mood. No, it's not. I am not going for it. I had one of the lodgement there, Mr. Farooq. His name was luckily also Farooq from Bhagalpur. He was preparing for MBA. Then first time the name of MBA I got from Faru. While talking to him, he was also interested to talk in English. He knew to talk. While talking to him, I came to know MBA is a course which can give me the job fast. If I want to earn money, I can earn money very fast with especially uh, like MBA and all that. It was the idea that came in my mind. I had to earn much money as soon as possible. I appear in the examinations of that MBA college, which is there in Patna, LNMI. They had conducted a written test. I applied. I don't know how, but I passed. I don't know. Trust me. I, I was the luckiest person, perhaps. I, my examination was not very good. Math and all, I didn't know. Some questions and some just uh, it's uh, uh, like on the assumptions I ticked also. Luckily, I passed and I got a letter that I am invited for my interview. But the best part for my interview was I knew that time how to speak in English. I went for interview, I qualified and I got my admissions in MBA college. After completing my MBA, I had options to get a job. I went to Mumbai, I tried to get a job and I got also. Eight years I worked in one of the company there. I was there in Assis Bank. Almost eight years I worked there. Okay. Besides my job, as I have been the keen to speak in English, wherever I spent my time, whenever I traveled, wherever I went, whatever I did, trust me, I tried speaking in English. Wherever I lived, I left my impact that I knew English. Whenever I traveled in the train, I got 80 persons there, I started speaking in English. 
English started coming in my blood actually. Besides my job, almost five or five, four or five years, I taught there as a faculty in one of the project. Then I saw, when I saw the demand by the students, especially for me, they wanted me to teach them. Whenever I was absent, they wanted me to teach them. They uh, requested the director, where is Farooq sir? Please call him and all. And I still remember, I, I used to be there and then I taught. That gave me the confidence. And then it was a big decision. I was well settled, having good salary. I had my wife there, my children there. Then I decided, no, it's not my cup of tea. I should not continue with the job because I was doing better, but not satisfied, actually. I had interest of speaking in English and teaching also. So finally, I took the decisions to leave my job and start my classes. I was to start my class not in Dhrivanga. I was to start my class in Mumbai itself at Mira Road. I had taken the flat also for the coachings and all. Somehow I got a request by my mother and the relatives here from Dhrivanga that if you are planning to start a class, then why not in Dhrivanga? Why in Mumbai? It looked it uh, was exciting for me also because I was not here being with my friends. So I agreed with their decisions, with their uh, request. And finally, I remember uh, May 2012, I came back from Mumbai to Dhrivanga. And in Dhrivanga, on 2nd of July 2012, I started my I've been here from the day one. I couldn't see the back. I kept developing. And the scene is today. I have completed my 10 years. And in these 10 years, I have created the history. There are a huge number of speakers. They have learned from my classes. And now they are doing their best in their lives. They are working in different companies. They are working in government jobs. They are working in private jobs. Many of them have become the teachers also. This is all about the journey of how did I start it. I could not think to be a teacher. Now I am a teacher. It's all about the time that has taught me. And I am with you all. That's okay guys. Thank you to listen to me very carefully. Thank you very much once again.